The poultry processing plant in Farmerville is again operational, now run by new owners Foster Farms. While that's good news for most North Louisiana poultry growers, the CEO of Foster Farms says his company will not pick up all growers dropped by Pilgrim's Pride. With the cutting of this ribbon, Ron Foster and Governor Bobby Jindal fulfilled the hopes of many in Farmerville. This poultry processing plant is again in operation, now owned by Foster Farms. The bill that allowed the state of Louisiana to give Foster Farms $50 million to buy and upgrade this plant was the first to make it out of the legislature during the 2009 regular session, and it was the first signed by Governor Jindal. I knew our elected officials, Governor Jindal, Especially Commissioner of Agriculture Mike Strain would help us out, and they have. We didn't just feel it back, it's all brand new. Since Foster Farms bought the plant from Pilgrim's Pride, the company made $4.4 million in improvements. Foster Farms Vice President of Chicken Plant Operations, Richie King, shows them off to Governor Jindal on a tour of the plant. We listened to the employees here uh, at one of our facilities, and basically we created this little thing at their suggestion. So we can move in here, make it this way, reduce the injuries, it's much safer ergonomically, it's great. The investments you see in technology and improvements will help to make this one of the most modern facilities in the entire country, will help to make this facility competitive with anybody in the country, will allow a very bright future for many, many years for Farmerville and the surrounding region. When Pilgrim's Pride shut down this plant, 1,100 workers and nearly 250 poultry growers were out of work. The reality is this is thousands of jobs. Literally 5,000 direct and indirect jobs depend on the facility we're standing in today. However, Foster Farms will not pick up all of the growers. About 70 stand to lose their livelihoods. And what our initial understanding was is that, you know, all the Louisiana growers would be picked up by this new plant. But now, in recent months or weeks uh, coming up to this day, we now understand that about 25% of the farmers will not be picked up by this plant. We're taking it, as many farmers as we can to, facil, to fill this facility. It'll take approximately uh, 130 growers to fill this plant. Some of the growers not picked up by Foster Farms are the Holloway's neighbors. I'm in a lot better position than a lot of my neighbors. I've been in this a long time. I paid down my debt. And if I didn't ever get a chicken back, you know, I would survive. But my neighbors won't. Pam Holloway already has chickens on her farm, and her husband expects to receive biddies in the fall. It just don't really seem fair, the way it's being done. We've created a, uh, a, uh, a, a system for evalu evaluating growers based on their past efficiency and cost per pound, their proximity to the plant and to the feed mills and to the hatcheries, and they're ranked based on that. So it's an unbiased ranking. And our goal is to get the uh, best growers for this facility so that we do everything in our power to make sure this facility is uh, prosperous going forward, both for us and for the state. Benoit Holloway says he does not blame Foster Farms for his neighbor's situations. Pilgrim Pride created this problem. I mean, they, they really stuck it to North Louisiana and South Arkansas in the way they did. And uh, they the ones that really should be paying. Foster says there could be a chance his company would pick up more growers in about two years. However, that would depend upon the demand and price for chicken, and those growers would still have to meet the company's standards.